so I'm going to continue from part one there in case you took a second here to get to the next video in the USA legally adult has one definition 18 years old and every single person agrees on this life and execution of enslavement and death when I say life, I'm talking about other, you know, things like sex and drugs, obviously. And then, um, punishment. The most talked about and meaningful discussions that involve these words, pretty much, that's the only reason anyone talks about what these words mean. And it uses a definition of daily issues, you know, on court documents, probably. Uh, whether written or just literally separate documents from this and then also you know like other government like things probably as well right generally I don't think people talk about what these things mean they just go with it in fact it seems these words are most used to control and manipulate other people another thing I've seen with numbers numbers are used with things like money and stuff like this in average everyday conversation, these things are only spoken of to broadly color a human. It's something that, so it seems, to me anyways, um, generally we're not bringing up the word adult unless we're trying to discuss someone who's not acting like one. If one were to correct words, you might be able to improve or better enslave a controlled person if you are more direct. So the use of words like adult and child in a, in a portion of its actual usage amongst normal everyday people is um, it, it's all linked to the stuff I've been talking about here. And then it's used, you know, tell a child to shut up. So you have the number one use for these words existence is quite literally prisons. When I was talking about that before, like, literally, okay, there's probably more people in prisons than schools, right? Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe the number one use is schools, but it's definitely up there. And But the whole legal system, if you include every single case that happens every day, it's judged based upon child or adult. And there's probably more cases every day. There's not more people in prison. There's more cases, more tickets issued every day. Uh, although a ticket might not be issued based upon your age. Um, the actual case inside the building that plays out. So you have the number one use for these words is in existence seems to be quite literally prisons and legal system, right? So not quite the best word. I could make it even better. Which will then take the division between 17 and 19, split those people and go into a further detail, which... So I'm saying the legal system actually is the one group that does anything more than call a people a child or an adult. So that's what that's what like that any really means. It, I'm saying like in the use of the system, which I'm saying uses it the most, they actually are some of the few that say go go into detail. Like if someone's jumping around, you might not say stop jumping around, you might say stop acting like a child. If someone's playing with poop, you might not say stop playing with pooping, you might say stop acting like a child. Something like that. But when it gets into less specific stuff than that, that's where it really doesn't happen. When those things happen, yeah, you might feel the need to remind someone stop playing with poop. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then one dividing line I used to see was the ability to talk of poop or to refrain from talking of poop. This is a very interesting use of how the word could mean anything and does. One would talk of poop every day and another may say, can you grow up and talk of more than poop? The other might retort and say, it is your inability to talk of poop that shows you need to grow up. So there we have two people in a situation who are telling, who could tell the other per person in situations I've seen. <laughs> this, this could play out. The, 
it's time to grow up, to be an adult. And, but it's being said by both people, both ways, about the same thing they're talking about. Though that last part is a rarity in this scenario where uh, you say it is your inability to talk poop that shows that you need to grow up. Though on that last part, is it a rarity on this scenario? I don't think I ever heard it used quite like that. So it could be though. So let's go back to the chart I made. This is just something I've made up off the top of my head. Okay, so over here we have in the big circles, circle, circles here, the outlined or whatever that's called when there's space in between. Sue me, I don't know something. Um, adult, old people above 17, youth, below seven, kid equals youth below 17, below 18, my bad. Okay, and so here's a few things I, I figure I throw out that are the differences. So I have 100% control of the world. Pretty much, I think, 100% um, of people over the age of 18 control the world. And I could have put 100% of people over here or over the age of 18, according to whatever this is supposed to mean, this definition and stuff. So everyone over 18 is also 100%. Everyone below 18 is, well, I guess technically I wrote that there, right? So yeah. But those, those are the labels. I could have included them with percentiles if I wanted to. So I did have it written. I just didn't write like that. Youth below 18 would be 100%. So that's just basically the whole half circle there. So I didn't feel it's 50% of the full circle. Okay, so and I put some funny little things there. Active people, we have 7% of the world's population probably active, and a very small section of that would be on the adult side. So I would say kids are more active than adults, but these days I'm not sure how active many of them have been. Um, and here we have plays with and talks about poop. Uh, we have 24%. Let's say 20% of the world's population plays with and talks about poop. And I've kind of divided this up to where, you know, maybe 6% of those people are adults. Maybe I'm being a little biased. Uh, and 18% of people who play with and talk about and maybe even eat poop are over here. Now, adults might, you know, counter this argument right here because maybe... People with children can tell me that um, 100% of children play with, talk about, and eat poop. So I'm not sure they're a child. I assume, like, after thinking that off, I'm thinking about that, I'm quite a bit off. Oh, no, it's all... Oh, no, the video. I should just start recording the other one. Anyways. Um, down here we have mature people, which I defined mature before. It's very much synonymous with adult and how the word adult is used. But I have, I think I'm being like a little, you know, anti child by saying that a small portion of 12% overall, maybe 3% are mature. And maybe I'm being generous or even hateful over here by just saying, only 8% of these people that say they're adults are mature. So um, whatever number you believe exists there, we cannot say that adult means mature. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I got. I'm going to have to look at this video. But it's confusing to me, like, what does adult mean? What does mature mean? Because it really doesn't have to any meanings except for the number stuff and the system that uses the number stuff all the time and what that comes up with where it's the, the most definition the biggest the most important thing to know about being an adult and a child is being a child you can mess up and being an adult you're screwed um 
So over here, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Over here, you're like, no, 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 no. And then, um, but at the same time, we, we brag. Like when, you, when you're over here, you brag you're over here. You know, um, so it is what it is. They can, one thing I didn't add is this group right here can beat and stomp and drug and do whatever they want to this group. Um, they, they try it on themselves, but it doesn't work as well as when they do it to these groups. Pretty much it's just like, yeah, uh-huh. And over here, they're like, no. Again, the simple yay and nay. It's weird how such a made-up division actually can divide things so much.